What up, chum bags? So I just got a phone call. I haven't been fishing much lately. I've been doing a lot of art, but uh, my homeboy hit me up, Cam. He said him and Dylan are gonna come pick me up. So we're gonna go try to catch some largemouth. Um, I'm gonna take a spinning rod today because it's really windy. Um, so for me, it's easier to throw baits with a spinning tackle when it's extremely windy like this. So, let's see what we can do. Um, we got about two hours to fish. Um, try to get some largemouth, so. Let's, I don't even know where we're gonna fish. I guess we'll just pond hop for a little bit, but let's see what happens. Sheesh! Oh, shit. <laughs> you saw that? Almost fell down into the abyss. Yeah, I think that's the secret, is just get it deep out there and just pull it up that bank. Oh. Uh, so, oh. Is this on the second one? There you go. He came back for it. <laughs> he came back for it. Well, there you go. Feels a little weird because I ain't got no. I'm fishing with spinning gear, but. Little Guggen baits. Trench hog, that's the first little guy. We're gonna get on him, man. We learned the pattern. Wait, well, he, hey, man, whatever they putting on these little. That sauce, man, they liking that. You saw that? He ate it. I fucked up. Came back. Wow. God, the only thing I hate about these plastics like this, man, usually the more you get in a bag, the le the less durable they are, bro. Like, the more you get in a bag? The less durable they are. Like, bro, I caught, I caught two fish on this, and this thing is done. You know what I'm saying? It's like mad, squishy, and... Yeah. They have it up in, that in that juice. In that juice. I need to start investing in juices and sprays and dyes and shit. I think that's one thing I like about bass so much is this so much money invested in it and so many companies have put so much involved into it. That like it's a science, bro. That fish was cold, man. He was sitting on the bottom. That creature bait. I tell you what, man. I have a belief with largemouth bass. It's a, it's an average about around here in Kendall and Miami. One out of every 25 is going to be a like over five, six pounds. So, and I and I look on average, if you catch one bass an hour, then it's worth keep on going. So if you're catching three, four, five, six little small bass in 10 minutes, then you know you're gonna get on a big one soon. You just keep doing it. Just keep doing what you're doing.
Now another thing that's gonna be good about Oh, he got a big one. What you got, Cam? Oh, okay, slay him in, get him in. Slay him in, slay him in. Okay. Okay. That looks like a good little two pounder. With these spinning reels, boy, you said the hook, they sound huge. Oh, boy, I just got blasted. Right. And let me see it. Show, show it to me. What you get it on? Tell me what you got it on. A little, little savage gear. A little savage gear, blue gear. There you go. All right, you gotta start somewhere, fellas. Yes, sir. You work your way up. Always gotta work your way up. Uh, well, yo, we're we're on the way to get some something nice. My bad. I just you let it drop all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I think he might be on the way down. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. You said that. You said the hell of a hook out of that little guy. There you go. Nice little guy, little hungry little sucker. You hit it on the bottom? Ah, now you're gonna make me tie something else on again. Oh shit. Nigga. <sighs> Why did you have to catch that fish right on the bottom right now? I did that. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> so you pulled. What you throwing? That big squirm? You want to try one of these Googans? What size hook you got? You can fit one of these on it if you want to try one. I never even tried the blue ones yet. But I think the sauce... This one around a little bit more. The sauce might have something to do with it, bro. Thank you. Like a... Like a gold shrimp, but a gold bass. Yeah, it's like garlic and licorice and all kinds of strange. He hit it like he was a 10 pounder. Uh, we're, we're almost getting to the point where it's almost time for a decent fish, man. Oh, you got a good one? Oh, there you go. He's on the board. That motherfucker hit hard, didn't it? They're charged up. Their metabolism is rushing because of this cold weather. Oh! Oh, man. He came up quick like he was going to be big. There you go. Little double up. They starting to eat, Dylan. Now we gotta find the mama that's making all these motherfuckers, man. God, he, they're eating it, man. They eating it. They eating it. They eating it. Take a picture, just let them know that you out here grinding. Bro, if we fish this to sunset, somebody's got to get stuck on something good. Some got to get stuck on something good. I like them when they're small. The patterns are just way better. Way better for like reference photos and shit. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Death Valley, bro. Shit is going down. 
R.I.P. to this little homie. Sheesh. It's rough out here on these streets. What's going on over here? Motherfuckers eating, eating a fucking duck over here, bro. Yo, that shit is savage. Savage shit. Oh. Yo, they don't give a fuck. That's some savage shit. Oh, gnarly, bro. It's fucking gnarly, bro. <laughs> what was I just saying? That is that time, right? Look at that one. Woo! Hold up. Let me get a picture of you with it real quick. With the motherfucking Gill Reaper, right? There he is, man. Yo, they hit hard in this lake, don't they? Get you a little flick real quick. Oh, he gonna come with his little ass fish. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make the wrist so everything's straight. You bend your the head back. There you go. There you go. Here. Do one of these. Try one of these. Put this glass in No, try one of these. Do it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, when the, when the bonefish, when the bonefish holes. Ooh, oh, I like that. Ooh, oh, you're such a good model, Dylan. All right, good. One more. Come on, like that. Oh, why are you feeling? <laughs> like that. Oh shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I yomped. Remember last time we did that? Niggas yeah. got mad as hell. <laughs> 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 she got yomped. Yeah, she got yomped. When, when a blind date goes wrong, right? <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Now you guys are showing off, man. Yo, we almost tripled up right there. We almost did. Well, we did. I just released mine before. This? Look at the belly on that one. He's that might be a, a female. Yeah. That might be a female. That looks like. Yo, those are eggs, bro. Look at that. Yep. that. It is a female. Out. With a male in her mouth. I told you that was a female. You could tell by its gut. Yeah, by its belly. It was a, it was the size of a male, but okay, okay, okay. Now Dylan want to show out. Dylan want to show out now. He getting the big ones, bro. Oh, that might be another female. Boy, they fucking, they liking that action. Another female. She's been sitting on that. Oh yeah. Action. Motherfucking action.
what up chum bags so guys hope you enjoyed the video um we didn't get the big fish that we we're looking for but we did have a lot of action i think we caught probably over 20 bass um and after it got dark we fished for about another hour and caught some more fish so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and um I don't know. I gotta. How did how do they say it? Uh, like, subscribe, fucking thumbs up, all that shit. Whatever it is, man. Hook me up. Follow me. Um, I'm just gonna try to keep putting out as much videos as I can. Try to get better, and hopefully we'll have some videos of some sick fish coming soon. Also, I got the pig pen, um, being rebuilt. I'm gonna have videos of that being rebuilt coming up. Um, so a lot of other big things coming. So appreciate the support. Keep on following, um, and that's about it. Sheesh!